있다고 해서 열 일곱 살에 가시니까 딱핀 꽃이라고 이름을 지었다. 너무나 고생이 시. During the Japanese colonial period, our hardship was unbearable. We picked mushrooms and did all kinds of work in the mountains. But we couldn't even eat what we picked. We had to ship them to Japan. Growing up, I was always hungry. Then I was drafted to virgin recruitment. Because I was so scared of it, I ran away and hid myself in the mountains. When I learned that they would take my younger sister in my place, I decided I had no choice but to go. I asked what I would do. They told me I would work as a nurse in Japan. So I left home believing that I would be going to Japan. But I was taken to Shanghai, China and to Nanjing. I had no idea what military comfort women wore, but that horrible fate was inflicted on me. Thank you. 
우리가 그걸 못 당해내서 그 처녀들이 그렇게 자살을 했다. 강덕경 할머니가 그린 그림인데 저거는 제일 처음에 그 명령 내린 사람을 저렇게 저 손은 저 이렇게 든그 손은 할머니들 손이야 저 책임자를 처벌해라 그러는 거라고 저거는 그래서 저렇게 그리는 그림인데. 제가 집으로 돌아와서 부모님께는 When I returned home, I told my parents that I had worked in a factory in Japan. My parents wanted me to get married, but how could I with such a ruined body? So I left home, went to Seoul, and lived alone. With no education, there wasn't much I could do. I suffered such unthinkable hardship. I worked as a maid and sometimes I sold things. One day I saw Grandma Kim Ak Sun testify on TV. So I decided to come out myself in public and testify. I met Hae Jin, a Buddhist monk, and decided to live in a group home, the house of sharing, with other women like me. For the last 10 years, in rain or snow, we demonstrated in front of the Japanese embassy in Seoul to demand justice. However, Japan has not shown any real response. We are determined to continue our protest until we die so that this unspeakable atrocity would never be repeated. 할머니가 돌아가실 때 나를 손을 잡고 강덕길 할머니하고 내하고 일본으로 방방곡 곳이 생기면서 주문을 했거든. 근데 한 가지도 해놓은 게 없잖아. 그러니까 형님 내 대신 우리가 소원하던 걸꼭 이루고 형님은 돌아가셔야 됩니다 하고 눈을 감았다고. 